A warm welcome to the seventh session of the third module in the core signals and systems. We have been looking at all the sinusoids that give us the same samples at the same points. And now in this session, we are going to put down some guidelines to bring them together, what happens if you add them. But before we add them, let us first write down the general expression. So, the general expression. So, we have this original waveform here, the original sinusoid and we have sampled this sinusoid by replacing T equal to N T s and T s is T naught by 4. We are asking all those sinusoids which have the same samples at the same points. We wrote down the expression the last time. Let us write down the generalized expression and let us sum them. So, general such sinusoid A naught cos 2 pi into k by T s. We have written this before k over all the integers positive integers and the minus goes with the minus and the plus goes with the plus. And there is one thing which I am sure many of you must have noticed. I had forgotten this t, I had omitted to write this t in the expression the last time. I hope you noticed it. I had left that out intentionally so that some of you notice it and point it out and look forward to its being corrected. You know, sometimes I intentionally do this, I leave a few things uncorrected at that time so that you are alert and you notice them and you critically review what is being written and here is one such that t was missing in some of the expressions in the last session and now of course, I am making it clear. So, there you are. Anyway, that was just a little game, just a little prank that I played, but anyway coming back. So, now you have all these positive multiples of 1 by T s and you add and subtract and therefore, we can now ask what happens when we add them. What is A naught plus summation over all k? What is this? Let us see. So, if you take k equal to 1 to infinity, we do not know if it will converge. So, let us take k equal to 1 to n. n is a positive integer greater than 0. So, we have two terms for every element of the summation, for every k. Now, you know this is interesting. So, this is of the form a naught cos and you have some term and for some part you take the negative of that term and for the other part you take the positive of that term. So, if you look at this expression, it is of the form, let us call this part some capital say b, you have the same capital b here. And the other part is essentially a capital C and here you have a B minus C and here you have a B plus C. In fact, you can write down B and C explicitly. Let us do that. B is essentially and C is essentially and therefore, you essentially have any one term for any one given k A naught cos b minus c plus a naught cos b plus c and this is very easy to sum. That is 2 a naught cos b cos c easy to sum. So, let us write it down in that form. This is b and this is c and as you notice this is also c here. The c is independent of k. Now, in fact, you can add this. You will notice that you know you can in fact take out this common. The c part you can cos c part you can take out common and we will do that here. So, this is the sum we need to evaluate now. What is this sum? How do we evaluate it? Well, this can be evaluated by a geometric progression. So, we will first split this into two parts write this as half e raised to the power j 2 pi by T s times k t plus 1 by 
plus e raise to the power minus j 2 pi by T s times k t. And of course, you know if you go back to the expression that we wrote previously, we should now not forget there is a 2 here, is not it? There is a 2 here, there is a factor of 2 which we had forgotten and we will put it back there now, so that the half gets cancelled. So, if I bring the 2 here, the half would be removed. So, the summation in brackets now becomes 1 plus summation k going from 1 to n e raise to the power j 2 pi by T s times k t plus e raise to the power minus j 2 pi by T s times k t. Now, this is a very simple geometric progression. The only problem is of course, it has a common ratio of magnitude 1. So, you have to be a little careful, but let us take any one of these terms. Now, this can be written as and now you can sum it as a geometric progression. So, let us do that. So, the first term multiplied by 1 minus e raise to the power, the common ratio raise to the power n divided by 1 minus the common ratio. Now, we can simplify this. We can take e raise to the power 2 pi by T s times T into n by 2 common and the numerator that leaves us with 2 j sin and the same argument. The same trick can be applied in the denominator, extracting 2 j sin 2 pi by T s into T by 2. Now, this is where I am going to leave some work for you to do. The first piece of work is sketch this function of t. Which function are we talking about? This function that we saw, this one. So, sketch this, this is the exercise. Now, you know you must remember that of course, 2 j would get cancelled here and you can look at this as a sign by sign form, you have dealt with that form before in module 2. So, you know how to handle it. You can also combine all of these terms to make it simple that should make it relatively easy for you to deal with. So, that is my first job for you, sketch this function of t. The second is, what happens as capital N grows? So, the question is, what happens? Now, there are two things to investigate. What happens at t equal to all multiples of T s and what happens when t is not a multiple of t s. Now, repeat for the minus term, this is where we are going to be. I am going to leave this as a little job for you to do. I have taken you some distance in the calculation and I want you to carry out the calculation and get a feel. What happens the sampling is essentially, what happens the sampling instance when all these sinusoids come together? What happens at other points other than the sampling instance? Well, work out something and we will meet in the next session and talk about another perspective on the same discussion. Thank you.